Hi, I'm Daryl Andrzejewski, Registered Dietitian here at McLaren Flint. And I'm here to share with you some healthy substitutions for your holiday baking and cooking. Starting with eggs. So if a recipe calls for whole eggs, you're going to want to substitute uh, two egg whites for each whole egg or a quarter cup of egg beaters. That'll cut cholesterol in whatever you're baking. For every whole cup of butter a recipe calls for, use a quarter cup of your favorite low-fat Greek yogurt and half a cup of butter to really cut the fat in half. Similarly, if you're using a cup of oil in a recipe, you can substitute uh, apple puree, mashed bananas, berry puree, really whatever your favorite mashed fruit is to really cut out the fat completely. To add some whole grains to your baking, I recommend using whole wheat white flour. Also, a whole wheat pastry flour is available for your softer items, like things like muffins, pancakes. If a recipe calls for evaporated milk, just make sure it says fat-free. It's an easy substitution. As far as your holiday cooking goes, when a recipe calls for bacon, you can opt for low-sodium turkey bacon to cut some of the fat, some of the sodium, or you can use an, an item called prosciutto, which is an Italian ham. If you're doing ground meat in a recipe, just make sure you look for 90% lean or above. And if a recipe calls for cream cheese, you can use a product called Neuchâtel cheese, which is a French cheese that has about a third of the fat of regular cream cheese. Uh, really, sugar in any baking recipe can essentially be cut in half. You really want to play up on the sweetness of the sugar that is there by using things like almond extract, orange extract, zest, spices like cinnamon, clove, nutmeg to really kind of enhance the sweetness that's there. So in conclusion, by making a few easy switches, you can lighten up your holiday baking. It'll have less calories, less fat, less cholesterol, and you can still really enjoy all the treats that you normally love.